First thing I want to ask you about is how did you guys get into the military? I mean, what made you cho choose to become pilots? Well, I was hanging around in college. I went to Florida State and didn't know really what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to serve my country. And flying off an aircraft carrier just seemed to be the most exciting thing in the world. Is it? It is. There, there's what nothing. I agree. Flying off the aircraft carrier is, is, is awesome. The, the cat shot, the, the carrier arrestment, it is, it is a, a thrill of a lifetime. And, and for me, the interest, my, my parents were both involved with aviation. My mom was a flight attendant. My dad was a general aviation pilot. And on a, a college trip up to the Naval Academy, I saw two Jets fly over the football game. And that's what kind of sparked the interest oh, yeah, for me. Yeah. yeah. I was sold after that. <laughs> what do you say? Um, Completely agree with, uh, with with these guys uh, when it comes to flying around the boat. You, you don't get any better flying um, than when you are, no kidding, launching off an aircraft carrier uh, and even taxiing up to the cat. You've got 19-year-old guys that are, and gals that are, uh, have your life in their hands, you know, and you're taxiing your nose over the end of, edge of the ship, you know, making right-hand turns and uh, and then getting plugged into that catapult and getting shot away is, is unbelievable. And then to come back and land at it, uh, it requires a skill that every, every Navy aid, naval aviator has that skill because of the training that we get, um, and it's it's the best thing in in the world to uh, to fly around the boat. Okay, so you guys, you were all Navy flyers or Marine pilots? All Navy. We're all, all Navy. Navy. Okay. Three of us. How how'd you get into the Blue Angels? Well, you know, the Blue Angels is something that you grow up as a kid and you see the Blue Angels, but uh, I I really wanted to fly the gray aircraft and to be sitting here in the blue suit. It's it's really just like lightning striking. There's there's so many guys that that would be terrific in this job. It's just that. You know, quite frankly, it's it's long odds to get here. Uh, it's a great opportunity, but if I wasn't in this uniform, I'd really be happy just flying in a fleet squadron in the Navy right now. So, so you just love to fly? Uh, there's yeah. nothing more in the world, yeah. absolutely. How about you? How'd I'm, you I'm kind of the same way. I, I still pinch myself that I'm here. It's 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 been a great experience, but um, it's something that I've always thought would be just really neat to do and mm -hmm. and uh, very, very fortunate, like Jim said, to, to get here and, and uh, be in this squadron. Same with you? It is. I mean, and, uh, it, you know, to represent the 650,000 or 700,000 sailor Marines that are out there uh, by wearing this uniform and bringing the air show and the Navy and Marine Corps to each city in middle America uh, is a huge honor. And uh, it's something that I never thought I was going to have the opportunity to do. And uh, when, you know, when we all rushed together and we all joined the team last year or this year, mm -hmm. um, you know, I just couldn't believe that. I got the call saying you're on the team, so it's a huge honor. I bet that was cool. Yeah. Well, we start out a little bit further apart, yeah. and uh, we'll we'll slowly start moving it in. We we actually just moved in a little bit closer this week. And is that a little freaky when you start? Getting it's it's like a that? little uncomfortable, but it's designed yeah. like that for a reason. Just because if you're comfortable with everything, you're gonna kind of let your guard down, and then that's where yeah. bad things can happen. So it kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit, and. Uh, Right now, about the closest we get is is about a foot and a half from each other during during some of the early maneuvers. Jeez. So is it is it kind of stressful? Well, I mean, I mean for do me, you guys ever relax when you're doing that? Is it kind of stressful? I'm this year's narrator, so I'm not in the demo this year. I'm just narrating, but I will be flying you tomorrow, uh, okay. a single ship. But these guys will be able to talk more about the uh, the formation flying and, and what what it's like for them. Well, you know, the stress I think is a good stress. It, it's enough to make you. You want to, it keeps you on your toes. It makes you want to be better than you were the day before for the training. And we only have so many flights that we actually do for training opportunities prior to the air show season. And we're down to just the last couple. So the last couple uh, couple months, six, what has it been? It's been about three months so three, far. Three months of training. We're, uh, we're ready to go. And it was, you know, it was a long road to get here. And it was a hard road, but it was a road I'd, I'd do again in a heartbeat. It, it was work worth doing, of course. And uh, again, the opportunity just to be sitting in these chairs oh, yeah. is, is huge. Yeah, so uh, that's one of the coolest things I think about this job is to be able to interact with uh, young kids and inspire them to hopefully someday become a part of the Navy and Marine Corps. But we understand that every kid doesn't want to be in the Navy and Marine Corps. Um, so if we can inspire them to be better citizens by staying in school, staying out drugs, uh, uh, and becoming engineers, teachers, policemen, um, mechanics, uh, you know, just make this society better than, than what it is today, that's, that's what it's all about.